Have you ever dreamed of starting your own business but felt overwhelmed by the inventory, shipping and the upfront costs? What if I told you that you could start a global print-on-demand business today with zero inventory and ship to customers in 32 countries without handling a single package? Today, I'm going to show you the complete step-by-step -step process for starting a profitable print-on-demand business with Gelato in 2025, even if you're a complete beginner. So this is what I will show you in this video. First, the complete step-by-step -step process for setting up your Gelato business, then how to choose profitable products and create designs that sell, and finally, the exact strategy for scaling from zero to a global business. When most people think about starting a product-based business, they immediately get overwhelmed by all the barriers. Inventory investment, you need thousands of dollars upfront to buy products you hope you will sell. With no guarantee, anyone will want them. Most people never start because these barriers feel impossible to overcome, especially for beginners. You might be thinking, isn't starting any business complicated and risky? That's exactly what I thought too. But print on demand completely flips this model, removing almost every traditional barrier to start a product business. That's when I realized there are two types of entrepreneurs. Those who get overwhelmed by traditional business barriers and never start, and those who discover print on demand platforms like Gelato that eliminate these obstacles completely. One approach keeps you stuck in a dreaming phase forever, while the other lets you start with the real business today. And this is where Gelato becomes a perfect solution for beginners who want to start print on demand business. It's specifically designed to remove every barrier that stops people from getting started. To begin with Gelato, you have zero upfront investment. You don't need to buy inventory, no storage costs, no shipping supplies needed, and you can start with just your designs. And you can start with only your designs. You will get global reach for day one. Because Gelato has production in 32 countries, they have local printing and shipping, so you don't have to deal with international shipping headaches. Customers get fast and affordable delivery. In terms of quality, they have more than 130 production partners, and they also make sure that all of them have consistent quality standards. With Gelato, you will also get professional packaging and branding. So now I'm going to show you the exact process for setting up your Gelato business. And we're going to start by setting up your account. And to do this, the first thing that you have to do is just go ahead and then just click in the link of my description. Then it's going to send you to my Gelato page. And then from here, you just have to go and click in sign up for free. It's in this section where you have to go and sign up either with your Google account, your Facebook account, you can even connect it with Apple, or you can only use your email. So I'm just going to click my email and then over here you just add the requirements and then you just click create your account. It's that simple. Once you open your account, it's going to look exactly like this. Now what we need to do is just go ahead and connect our store. So to do this, you're just going to go to this section and you're just going to click in stores. If you already have your Shopify store, you can only go ahead and connect it over here. You're just going to click on here and then connect your Shopify store. But I know you might be wondering, what if I don't have a store yet? Well, don't worry. Gelato integrates platforms like Etsy where you can set up your store in minutes. And I will show you exactly how to do this even if you are starting from scratch. And to do this, first of all, you have to go to Etsy. And over here, you're just going to go and you're going to click in sign in. In this section, you're just going to click in register. And as you can see over here, you have the same options as we did for Gelato. You have Google, Facebook with Apple, or you can even just go ahead and then just add your email address. So I just connected with my Google and then I open my Etsy store. And once you open your new account, it's going to look like this. And over here, what we have to do is just go to this icon over here and then just click in sell on Etsy. Over here is where you're going to start to set up your Etsy store. So we're just going to click in get started. And over here, you have your welcome message. So we're just going to click in let's do this. And then you just reply these little questions. And what I really like about Etsy is that they will give you help if you need it with any of these categories. So you just go mark any of them. Otherwise, you can just skip the question. And now we can go and start our shop. So over here, we just have to go ahead and select the language, the shop country and the currency. So I'm just going to keep it on English, United States dollar. And I can click in save and continue. Now over here, we have to go ahead and add the name of our shop. I wouldn't recommend that you take a lot of time doing this. I will advise you that you start first with a generic name. And then after that, if you want to change it, we can do those changes. So I'm just going to be using this, the art store. 174 so just to give an example of it you can just go ahead and then just try it out a few options till it's available and now we can click in save and continue now over here you just have to set up the way that you want to get paid when you start to make some sales so you can even use paypal or any of your cards so there is a lot of options here that you can go ahead and then just set it up over here for tax purpose you just have to go and select between these options depending on the one that you are now so for mine i'm just going to keep it on individual and it's over here where you have to go and then just add your data so your country your name your birth birthday and then your SSN. 
So you just have to go and add all of these details. And once you have all of these details, you can click in save and continue. Now over here is going to be your billing info. So to set up our Etsy shop, you will actually pay a small fee that is only one time setup fee. And don't worry, it's like 20 bucks. It's just that my account is in Mexican pesos, so it's saying 300 Mexican pesos. But you just have to go and authorize that you will allow that Etsy take this amount. And then you have to go and add your uh, billing information. So your credit card and then your billing information. And once you set up that, you will have your account completely ready. And now to connect your Etsy store, the only thing that you have to do is click and connect and log in into your Etsy account that you just have created. And once you have connected your store, you need to choose your products and the niche that you're going to be focusing on for your store. And here's where this strategy becomes crucial for your success. First of all, I would recommend you that you make a market research. And to do this, you can use tools like Everby or Erank to see what it's selling on Etsy. You have to check trending designs and themes. And I will also recommend you to go for Everby products that you can always sell even if it's not a trend. I know you might be thinking, how do I know what actually sell? Where? Here's where Gelato Advantage come in. Since with Gelato, we don't have any upfront cost, you can test multiple products and niches quickly that doesn't cost you anything except time. And to do this research, the first thing that you have to do is go back to your Etsy account. And to do this, you can go ahead and then just search for custom. Over here, we can see already some options. Custom made invitations, custom picture shirt, and even more options. So I'm just going to go in custom picture shirt. And then over here, we're just going to see what Etsy show us. And now we can keep going into our research. So as we can see over here, we have a custom photo in a sweatshirt. So over here, we can see that this product sells well since it's already in 11 cards. And what I like to do to make this research even more complete is just go ahead and then just check the stores. And to do this, you're just going to go, we're going to use Everby. And I know that as a beginner, it's very hard to invest in a lot of tools at a time. So we're just going to be using the Everview free version. And to do this, we're just going to go open our Everview account. And then from here, I'm just going to go and open this store. Over here, we can see the name. So I'm just going to go copy this name. We're going to go to the section of shop analyzer. And then from here, I'm just going to paste it. We're going to click in search. And here we have the store. So we're just going to go open it. And it's over here where we can see the actual sales data that this store have. So as we can see, it opened in 2023, which is not long ago, and it already make this total revenue. So what we can see over here is that this store is making very good. And as we can see, this store only focus on making custom products. We have the sweatshirts that we just found and even more and more custom products. So this is a very good example of how making custom products can get you these amazing results. And I know you might be thinking, yeah, it's very nice to make these custom products, but I don't know how to do this. Well, don't worry. I will show you how to do this step by step. And to do this, we're going to be using this amazing tool called design. And then from here, we're just going to click in new project. The link to this tool is also on my description. So over here, I'm just going to be using the one by one and we can click in apply. Over here, what we're going to do is just let the customers send the picture that they want to transform into something like this, which we can see it's very simple. It's something we can definitely create with the help of AI. And to do this, we're just going to go upload our image. So we just click in upload and over here to make this even more easy, I'm just going to go and remove the background. So I just click in video remover and then we're just going to go and make it bigger. Now what we have to do is go ahead and select our image and we're just going to go to the section of image to image. So depending on the style that you want to create, you just got to go and choose a different style from design. So I'm just going to go and click in portrait to see what options we can get from here. So since we don't want to change that much our picture, we can just go and take a look of the options that design offer. So to match this kind of style, I will go for the section of portrait. And over here, I will just go and select the warm portrait. And then from here, you can go ahead and add a prompt, transform my image to a new style. And then you can just go and use a prompt improver if you want to. Then we just going to go and keep the aspect ratio of the canvas since it's the best one to keep our image in the best shape and then we're also going to use the face match so we're just going to go turn it on and then we also have to pick the face over here you're just going to go and select the same image and so then it's going to go and keep the same face match and now when you have all of those details you can click in generate and now as we can see it already generated these options so i really like them but i think i would like to see more options like the number four and to do this we're just going to go and we're just going to click in variation of the number four but as you can see we have other options in case that you want to change something you can even use the ai editor and then just edit this image but i think for mine i just want to see first of all variations of it and then if i want to change something then i will go to the ai editor part and we have these new amazing variations i really like them i really love how it keeps everything the same and then just give this new style so i think for mine i'm going to be using this one we're just going to keep this file type and we're going to click in download once we have downloaded this image finally go to my favorite part the creation of our products and to do this we're going to go back to our gelato and we're just going to go to the section of product catalog over here we have all of these products but i'm just going to go to the woman's clothing 
you can make it women's and men's. There is even options for unisex uh, products. So you can also go ahead and then just choose from those ones. I'm just going to go to the part of sweatshirts. And as you can see, over here we have the classic unisex sweatshirt. So you can even go ahead and use that one. It's very important that you also set up your shipping region. So for mine, I'm going to keep it in North America and the currency in USD. But this is very important. You set up first before choosing the product. So you make sure you can ship to the region that you selected. So I think I'm just going to be using this one. So I'm just going to click on it. Now over here, we have a quick review of the product. So if you like it, you can go ahead with it. Over here, we have to go ahead and select the colors that we want for our products. So you can even go and select from all of these ones. And we also have the sizings. So you can go ahead and choose between all of those. If you want to use multiple, I will show you how to do it later. Now we have the product price and the shipping price. And now we can click in add to store. Another tool that I really love is the personalization studio features. But what is this? It's a built-in editor that allows your customer to personal products like mugs, t-shirts, or phone cases, and even more, directly from your store. So let's say that they want to personalize these t-shirts. With this tool, customers can click on the design and customize it. They can add their name, change the text, and even upload the pictures that they want in real time. This adds a whole new level of engagement. People love buying products that feel personal, and that means higher conversion rates and more sales for you. Your customers get a live preview of the product before checkout, which makes them more confident in the purchase. So I really recommend you to use this option when you're creating your products. And now we are in our product. Over here is where you can go ahead and select multiple colors that you want to offer in your store. So let's say that I want to offer white, pink, gray, and blue, I can just go and select all of those. And the same goes for your sizing. So we can go and select S, M, and L and all of these options as well. And as you can see, over here it shows the products that we just chose. So you can go ahead and then choose from all of these amazing options. Now it's time to create our product. And to do this, we're just gonna go and we're gonna click in files. Over here, we have to go ahead and upload the design that we just have created. And to do this, we're just going to click and choose file, my device, and then we're just going to choose our design. So as you can see in my first design, I had a background. So if you want to delete it, you can just go to background remover, double click to add it into our canvas and then video remover. And then you can go and then export it again. You always have to make sure that your image stays on this green line. Otherwise, it means that uh, the quality of the image might lose. So you will always have to go and then make sure it's in this blue line. So we're here, we have already our amazing image, which looks amazing in all of our different uh, colors so i really like that and now you can go ahead and even add some text if you want but as we can see in our main product we don't really have this so i will just keep it like this as well once you have all your products you can go and click in a preview of how this is going to look all of the mock-ups and how this product is going to look which i find amazing it looks very cute we can even see in the different colors that we selected and now we can continue to mock-ups it's over here where you have to go and select the mock-ups for your different products so as you can see we have to go and select the mock-ups and you even get with the different colors that we generated one amazing tool that I really like about Gelato is a mockup AI. It's very useful because we can go and create our own mockup with the help of AI. And to do this, we just have to go and then just select one of these ones. So I think I'm going to be using the flatly. And over here, the AI already put a mockup for me and we can click in generate mockup. And as you can see, now this is how it looks, my amazing mock-up. I think it looks more cozy. I think it looks more natural. So that might help to make more sales. So we can go and click in add mock-up. And once you finish all of your mock-ups, we can click in continue to details. And over here, again, we can go ahead and then just generate our title and our description with the help of AI. And over here, you can go ahead and then just click on this option where it says that they will show the product to store visitors. And this, you have to pay two euros. And for this, you have to go and pay. Or you can just go and display it for free in your shipping store. So you can go and choose between these options. And over here, you can go ahead and also add your tax. And now we can click in continue to prices. It's over here where Gelato tools are very helpful because over here, I would recommend you that first you put the include shipping cost and then over here you can see the product cost, the shipping cost and the estimated profit that you will get depending on the margin that you want to generate. So let's say that I want to generate a 30%. I'm just going to click in generate and then all the prices for all of my different products are going to change. And I can also see the estimated profit that I will generate for each of them. So as you can see, we have all of that with one click. And once you set up this, you can click in continue to review. And finally, over here, we have all of the details for our different products. We have the name, the color, the size, the retail price, and our estimated profit. Because my account is set up in Mexican pesos, it's showing me in Mexican pesos. But if you have yours in USD dollars, it will show it to you in USD dollars. And as you can see, we also have the delivery regions. And now, congratulations, you have created your first print-on-demand product. And now, the only thing that you have to do is click in publish. Now, I know that you might be wondering about the cost, but here is a beautiful thing about Gelato. There are not upfront fees. You can pay when someone 
someone buys your product and you can set up your own profit margins. That means that you can start testing products and build your own business with zero risk. Plus, now they're offering a 50% off on your first order. So you can test the quality yourself and see exactly what your customers will receive. But here is something important to consider. The print on demand market is growing rapidly, but it's also becoming more competitive. The entrepreneurs who start now with professional platforms like Gelato will have a significant advantage. So here is what to do next. Click the link below and sign up for your Gelato account. Set up your first product this week using this exact same process that I show you and order a sample to see the incredible quality for yourself. If you're also wondering what else you can create with the help of Gelato, you can click my video on how to create wall art and sell it on Etsy. The link is in my description. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Have a great day.